morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, June 25th. Uh, Bob and Paulius, the son-in-law, are out at a car thing with both of Bob's cars. And I have Junior. Uh, he and I are out for a walk to not only hopefully put him to sleep, but get some steps in. So we'll see. Anyway, Oma only has so many hands, so... I don't know if I'll be able to take any pictures, but we'll find out. I'll be back. Do I look tired? <laughs> anyway, we're back from our walk. Little mister is doing well. He's not crying, so that's a bonus. You know, he's a newborn, and you can already tell he's a newborn that does not like to sleep. Although he gets really tired and cranky. So, yeah, it's, it's a thing. If you guys got any tips for either Oma or the parents... Put them down below. We'd love to hear them. <laughs> but yeah, I've tried everything I can think of. Um, and I guess the last two days, he just hasn't wanted to sleep. So there's that. Um, and he's not colicky. So yeah. Uh, anyway, right now we have to wait about another 45 minutes or so. And then he gets breakfast. In the meantime, he seems to just be happy and content. So Oma might try to make her morning bone broth while I can. <laughs> and then we'll sit and watch YouTube or something. We'll all watch YouTube. While he just stares in fascination at the ceiling fan. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. It is Monday morning, June 26th. It's 11.03 a.m. Oma's day off. <laughs> so I am going to work on a sewing project. I've got a bunch of computer stuff to do, but of course I'm sewing first, but you know. Anyway, I took this spring roll pouch bag of which I've made a couple of them now, and I'll put some pictures like right here somewhere um, in the original size. And then I reprinted the pattern in a bigger size. And I don't need another spring roll pouch, but I kind of want to see how it turns out like. I do have some ideas rolling around in the back of my mind if this works. I, I'm using fabric I have. I'm not buying anything. So um, we'll see. I think first I drew some grids. I don't know if that's going to show up on camera. On the plain um, canvas fabric I had in my stash from another project. And I think I'm going to sew like faux quilting marks on the outside before I do anything else. And I might even use rainbow thread because why not? Rainbow or green? I have to decide. I'll be back. And this is bone broth. Trying not to snack because, you know, trying to lose the couple pounds I've gained back. Yeah, I'll be back. It's done. Are you ready? This is the regular size one. This is the big one. <laughs> Again, I printed the pattern and I, when I printed it, I told my printer to print it at 150% of the original and then pieced it together. And other, otherwise that's the only change I made. Now the pattern is not mine. I'll link the Etsy shop the pattern is from down below. Um, but other than increasing the size of the pattern, I didn't change anything else now. In the big one, I chose not to add all the extra pockets she talks about in the pattern, different options. I just kept it pretty basic, but let me show you. Okay, in the regular one, this is supposed to be a toiletries or makeup bag. I use it as an art bag. I have quite a bit of stuff in here. It does open flat, which I really like. Um, in this one, I added some pen loops on the inside, which you can't see, hold on. Pen loops, which I don't really use to be honest. And on this side, besides the elastic pocket, there's an extra zipper pocket. Again, I have stuff in there, but I don't really use it that much. So on the big one, I just kept it pretty basic. I am kind of curious how much stuff it holds. So this is the big one. I used what I had, which was this like tan colored canvas. I did some decorative stitching on it or quilting on it with um, rainbow thread. I used a light blue zipper. I've got some botanical fabrics on the inside, again with a light blue zipper on the interior pocket and some more rainbow thread around. 
I did the regular pocket here. In the littler bag, it's only two pockets. This bag is so big that it's three pockets. And then the elastic pocket in the little bag is just one pocket, but I divided it into two. And I think you can fit a lot in here. I kind of wonder. I like my other two art bags, but it just makes me wonder how much I can get in here. Maybe we should see. <laughs> All right, hang on. for the moment. That doesn't mean I'm getting rid of anything else. If y'all have been watching me for a while, you know I have an addiction to art bags. Ah, uh, yeah. Some would call it a problem, but I don't see it that way. It's part of my purging and churning and gathering inspiration. It's part of my process. Cleaning, rearranging. It's inspiring. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. Hey you guys, it's 5.51 p.m. that I'm dying of thirst. My cup is empty. It has been for a bit, but I got July and August um, mood boards and word lists done for patrons and supporters. I do one every month for them, along with a few other things. So if you want to be in on that, go check out my video description. The link is down there in my link tree list of links. 
Um, I also got scheduled posts for social media done for July and August. I got, what else did I get? I, I'm, I got the vlog edited and it's loaded and scheduled, yay. Everything's scheduled. I just have to add the other word list to my daily drawing books for July and August. And then we're done and we can turn stuff off up here and I can go get some water. Yay! I didn't think I'd get it all done today, but yay! I'll be back. Um, I also found I wasn't keeping up with my mood board reference book, so I just printed a bunch of things out and added them to the book. I'm not quite caught up because there's some artsy trio collaboration stuff. We've like done mood boards through almost the end of the year, so I haven't printed those out yet and put them in there, but I am going to consider it caught up because, I mean, it's caught up until like the end of the summer. Um, I also have my fashion and upcycling reference book. I found a couple more photos in my camera roll I forgot about. Printed them, put them in my book. I, delete, I can delete them off my camera roll now, so that's done. I found the baby blanket booties and hat pattern I want to make for the neighbors next door for their little baby that's coming. And I got my two journals for July and August ready to go. I found some stuff from the last time we went to the beach that I need to go through, pull a few things out. And I didn't quite clean my desk off. There, It's not super dirty. It never is. But there's little piles of paper that, you know, when I don't want to deal with things, I just, like, stick them in a pile. Because, yeah. Anyway, but the video is loaded. Everything's done. I think I can put the rest off for right now. I think we can call it good. All right, I'll be back. Guys, it is 11.33, Tuesday, June 27th. Don't get excited, I looked at the iPad. Um, it's babysitting day, so Junior's coming over um, and we're all ready to go. Uh, I was able to get upstairs for a little bit and print some things that I wanted to print and also, um, work on a mock-up. I had a knit dress that I bought for another project that I ended up not working for that, but I only paid like two bucks for it. So I used it as mock-up fabric for a new short pants pattern that I wanna do. And I'm glad I did because my initial thought was that the shape was right, but the pant, the size was too small and too short. So I did make some adjustments and make a pat, made a pat paper pattern. Um, now I just need fabric, so we're all ready to go. In the meantime, I'm sitting having some bone broth, and Junior's on his way over, and yeah, we're all good. I think I have to do the dishes, but yeah. All right, I'll be Junior's back. Junior's home, and I have about an hour until Bob gets off of work, and then we're gonna go for a walk, and I'll probably need to take a shower, and then dinner. I got the idea for taking my mock-up of the pants I want to make and adding some more fabric from another knit piece that I have that I bought to do mock-ups and stuff with to make sure the pattern's going to fit the way I want it to, which is like a smart idea. And yeah, I think I'm going to do that really quick before he gets off work. I'm going to turn on some music and just have at it. I'll be back. A mock-up looks terrible because... Yeah. The fabrics do not match, but the fit is what I wanted. Kind of like my wide leg pants only fitted around the calf. So yay, that means that the paper pattern I drafted is gonna work more than likely. I am going to cut these apart carefully, sort of, and make sure that they are the same as the paper pattern or, or fairly close. And I think of them were good and it's just a matter of me finding knit fabric that I like at the thrift, i.e. a really long big maxi dress or two that match um, or clearance sale knit fabric at the fabric store because we're not gonna spend full price on that, but yeah, I mean, Again, these two fabrics do not go together, but cute pants. All right, I'll be back. Going for a walk. 
It's 80 degrees outside. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> I brought some water with me. Got a pocket full of cough drops. Finished this day. So we're gonna go get some steps in. I haven't said yet, but I'm gonna take a shower tonight before bed because I have an early morning mammogram. It's time for that yearly checkup. Have you had yours lately? And no, if you're- I have not. You have not. Have no, not. men need another check. It's called prostate check. Have you done that? And if you're over, of a certain age, colon screening, colon cancer screening. Get your checks, people. They're not fun, sometimes uncomfortable, very scary, but you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, anyway, we're gonna go get some walk in, walking in. Butt, you know. Yeah, Mr. Bob gets his colonoscopy next week. Me first, then him, you know. All right, I'll be back. Starting off my morning with a mammogram. It's not my favorite way to start a day, but it's gotta be done. And it's just an annual test to everybody. All right, now we're headed out to go run some errands. I need some parts for some projects. I've gotta check the P.O. box. By the way, if you wanna send me happy mail, I'll put the P.O. box address in the video description. All right. <sighs> Let's get it done. I'll be back. Um, so I went out and had the mammogram this morning. It's negative, by the way. I already have the test results. I had them within a couple of hours. Um, ran a few errands and some flower, sunflower fabric came in that I wanted. Plus I had a little bit of a different one. I'm going to make another pair of dad jeans and I'm going to cover them with sunflowers. But... I had the idea while I was looking at that, I should take a bunch of fabric that I have in my stash that I'm not really using and isn't necessarily my favorite and patchwork it together with the raw edges showing, wash it, let it fray, and then make stuff out of it. A pair of pants, a shirt, a jacket, something. So I've spent the last like three hours patchworking things together Again, not being careful about raw edges, letting them show. This is a big piece of fabric, you guys. Hold on. You ready? <laughs> you can't, I mean, it's huge. Hold on. fit in the camera. I literally just zigzagged the pieces together. The raw edges are sticking out layered them on top of one another with white thread. I'm gonna wash it and then I have it to make stuff with. Maybe, again, maybe a pair of pants. I'm not sure yet, but I like where it went. All right. I think it's time for some more water and a snack. I'm really thirsty. <laughs> I'll be back. It is Friday, June 29th. Yes, I wanna say January to June. And it is 6.37 p.m. Um, <laughs> it's been a wild, crazy, long day. Um, we started off the morning with going downtown with a family member who was not yet as of then a U.S. citizen, but is now. So that was a nice way to start the day. Um, then I babysat Junior most of the afternoon, most of the day, actually. And I did get some crocheting done on the rainbow skirt. Um, but you know, when you're watching an infant, you can't get a lot done. Bob has um, his Masonic Lodge meeting tonight. And I for honestly forgot about that. Junior went home at about, I don't know, 5'10 or something. And I thought I'll come up here and I'll sew for a little bit till he's done with work for the day, which would normally be about now. Um, and except that he had a meeting. So he stopped work early, went downstairs and got dressed and left for his meeting so I could keep sewing. So I did get some sewing in just now. I finished my other pair of dad jeans I wanted to make. These ones are covered in sunflowers. I haven't washed them yet, but I will be so things fray and everything. You ready? Okay, hold on. Oh, I don't have the right shirt on with them, but what do you think? I mean, I love the way they turned out. They were so much fun to make. I have one more pair of my dad's jeans and I'm gonna cover them in roses. Yeah, anyway, I guess I better clean up now, put these in the laundry and then probably go have some dinner. I'll be back. 
your pants are in the laundry in case you can't hear that. And I guess I should go get the mail. I haven't really thought of it about it all day today. And I think there's a sewing pattern I got from Etsy out in the mailbox. So let's go see. Got a new sewing pattern. I could probably draft it, but not that confident in my skills. It's definitely something I want to make. So, yay. What time is it? 10.38 a.m. Friday, June 30th, I think. Um, I've been sewing. I'm not babysitting today, so I'm catching up on projects. So, if you're ever thrifting, going through your stash, or even going through your closet of old clothes, and you see some thin gauze or scarf material... Um, or in this case, as you can see from the shoulders, um, probably this is Halloween gauze netting stuff. And I just thought, well, let me see if I can make something fun. I'm going to call it the mummy shirt because that's the thing that comes to my mind first thing. It's probably not going to last more than a couple of washings, but paired with a little tank top like I have on right now and maybe a bright color under it with some of my dad jeans would be maybe kind of cute. Although I might look homeless, but I, I, you know, I don't care. Anyway, hang on. This is me in my mummy shirt. What do you think? I mean, I didn't try to make it look perfect because this thin material, again, whether it's a scarf or it's some kind of gauze or something, when it's really thin like this, it's really just nerve wracking to try to get it to be perfect. So I didn't even try. It had some holes in it and I stitched around them, which gathered it a little bit. I'm cool with that. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked. What do you think? Hey, you guys, I made another one. <laughs> this one was a scarf uh, and it's a little bit more finished and less raggedy. Um, that doesn't mean it's going to last, you know, through lots of wearings and washings. This is very thin, delicate fabric, but... Um, yeah, I do like it and layered over a tank top or even a, um, a pair of bike shorts and a top or my dad jeans or yeah, hold on. I'll get a picture for you. What do you think? I did shorten it, put a little hem here, use the like raggedy edge of the scarf because it was really long and I didn't want it that long, but you definitely could buy one of these big scarves and keep it long and use it as a bathing suit cover up. I mean, that would be cute, but what do you think? It was very easy and I like it. All right, I'll be back. I had a really nice conversation with my friend, Leslie McGrath, and she is going on a little vacation and I wish her a great time. She deserves it. Anyway, as I was talking to her, I was sewing. I, of course, lost my cotton strapping. I was making some bags, as you can see. I did eventually find it after I got off the phone with her. But I got the idea, and granted, I was just gonna do one, I did four. But I got the idea to take some of the pant legs from my dad's pants that I've been upcycling, refashioning, I don't know, to wear, um, and taking the bottom part that I cut off making a bag I know right so I didn't just make one <laughs> of course not I made two three four I mean yeah anyway I'm gonna go sit in the corner and have some water and just chill for a bit I'll be back this is a little handbag of course but it could also be used for a little urban sketching art journaling bag because it's big enough to put a small journal in, a couple of pens and some tools. So, and it was cheap. 
I had everything. I didn't buy anything. Yeah, I'll hey be everybody. back. Everybody, it's ten fifty-two a.m. Saturday, July first. So a whole bunch of posts should have gone out this morning to Patreon and social media, getting ready for daily art inspiration for the next month. And Bob is off at the kids' house. They are doing some construction at their house. They're actually planning an addition. And right now they're digging for the foundation. So Bob is over there helping along with my son-in-law's parents and all of that stuff. I am going to go as soon as I back up the car. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I have to pick up some prescriptions and I am planning out my next pair of dad pants, my last pair of dad pants at the moment. And some of the parts I wanna use on the pants are coming in the mail today, but I'm looking for something else that I can't find easily online and or, you know, you order something, but it comes and it's not what you expected. I had that with an Etsy order recently. It's not that it's not good quality and all that. It's just not what I expected. So um, I'm going to stop by Joann's because hopefully, and there's another little like sewing machine repair place that sells fabric there in the same mall. So I'm going to stop by the two of those and hopefully find what I'm looking for and not come out with too much extra stuff, maybe? All right, we're gonna see. I'll be back. I can't remember right now if I said it on camera or not yesterday, but I know I said it to my friend Leslie and to my patrons and supporters, but when I made the Halloween gauzy gray sort of tussy through top, raggedy fray top, I'll put a picture here. I pictured it with spiderweb pants or something along those lines. So, and I'm call I, I know I said I'm calling it my mummy top. It'd be so cute. Anyway, so yeah, I am kind of on the lookout for something like that. All right, I'll be back. So I've been home for a little bit. I did find the parts I was looking for for the next pair of dad pants. Um, I also went through and sorted some fabric, getting rid of some scraps I don't need to hang on to. Before I did that, I cut some strips out of some of them because I'm going to make some fabric collage belts. Um, I also have a black knit cardigan thing that I don't wear much, and I pulled a bunch of sheer and knit stuff out. I might try to upcycle it. It's kind of sitting in the corner and on the mannequin. I cleaned up some fabric bins and reorganized things to make stuff easier to find. And started getting, I think, what's going to be my next needlework project ready. I also found two watercolor paintings that were hiding under some patterns that I forgot we're down there, so there's that. <laughs> House is very quiet. I'm going to sit here and watch a little YouTube, and then I'm going to go do dishes and laundry. Bob is still at the kids' house digging holes, because, yeah. Anyway. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey, guys. All right. It's 8.42 p.m. on Saturday, July 1st. It's been a good day. Uh, as you can see, Behind me, I've got some stuff laid out to do my last pair of dad pants at the moment. And found this really cute bee fabric. I'm going to put some bees on it. Thanks, Kathy Whitney, for the idea. Um, went to the local resale shop and picked up a couple more balls of yarn because I think my next needlework project is going to be a sweater. And I want to do something with the, like, wavy pattern in it again. I found a pattern on Etsy. I'll link it down below and I'll put a picture here. I did start, I only got like five or six rows done on the front, but so far so good. And I'm enjoying just using random yarn, balls of yarn, thrifted stuff from my stash, you know, and all that stuff. So it's been pretty good. I did a little bit of rearranging up here. I think I mentioned that earlier. I had some slow stitching stuff that could, just patterns that didn't need to be in a bin. 
So I put them somewhere else with the rest of my patterns actually. And this is just applique fabrics, fabrics with images on it, like big flowers or birds or the bees will go in there, whatever's left of the bees. So I did that earlier today and I did something else, but I don't remember what it is. <laughs> anyway, it's it was pretty good. I also did some closet cleaning downstairs, found three more items I can do something with. I also ordered some bins for sweaters. I'm gonna do a little bit of reorganizing in the closet. So anyway, it's been a good day. Bob's exhausted. He helped the kids with their construction project they're doing, um, which at the moment they're getting it ready for the foundation. So it involves a lot of digging. Yeah. So he's exhausted. He's downstairs. He's taken some meds. He's got a bad back, but he helped anyway. God bless him, but you know, yeah. So anyway, I'll leave any relevant links down below. If you want to comment with any questions, comments, or concerns, please do, do so down there too. And um, I do answer all my comments. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube, I do have a Patreon and it is listed in the video description and in my link tree list of links. They have ready access to me in a private Facebook chat. And if you do become a patron and you want to be part of that chat, please message me and I'll add you. Um, I also post over there minimum once a month with uh, monthly inspiration, lists of words that they could maybe do some art with. Um, they get access to free um, stencil design images that I've been created, some old, some new. Um, I'm not cutting stencils anymore, but I do share the images with them in case they want to create their own. Maybe they've got a Cricut or something like that. So um, you get three a month. And once you become a patron, you have access to the current ones and all the past ones. So yeah. All right. That's it for now. I hope you guys have a great day and a great week and weekend. Have a happy 4th of July. It's 4th of July here in the United States. And um, yeah, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate that, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.